Are we sure it's not the shitting in the girl's face story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it's... There's a girl walking out with shit and Kevin goes, I think it's something else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. We were supposed to get pictures done today. I know. Last week, we it was, but he messaged me, and um, he was like, "Dude, my bad. I got this, this, this. Dude, this is so professional. I'm gonna give you a super fat discount. This is so awful. We're supposed oh, to get he, pictures for the new intro, I see. and um, I, I didn't know. I I haven't had the heart to tell him yet that I also kind of fucked up and like with timing and shit. And he's like, "Dude, I'll, I'll basically just do them for free at this point." And I'm like, "Man, I, I will say it is. I'm also like, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm like, hey man, I'm also fucking up. But I will say this." <laughs> Don't undervalue yourself sometimes. No. Cannot, also, man. that's his own time. But, uh, you're, you're, allowed to, you're allowed to be busy. Yeah. You're allowed to be busy. That's Guys, true. this is Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday morning smoke show. Make sure you're smoking. Make sure you're chilling. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your other co host, the Papa Sanchez of comedy, the mattress foam of comedy. I'm just fucking up. I the, know. What do I call it? Oh, the yeah. memory foam the mattress memory of foam. comedy. I don't know how I feel about Kevin that. Yeah. <laughs> like, Kevin like, Sanchez. Kevin Sanchez. That's a thing. You're making that. Hey, yo, I'm making seeing it mad dicks outside, bro. Yeah. Dicks? Dicks. I've never seen so many dicks in my life. Bro, I still haven't seen so many. I had the craziest on the way I, here. I have one too. <laughs> oh, you have a, a wild thought? Have a, no, not a wild <laughs> thought. I have a wild dick story. Oh, let's okay. hear it. I have a wild dog. No, listen, please, please leave. Yeah, let's yeah, go. This is DC Winners, our other co host. Oh, I, to, I was nervous. I was like, what? This has nothing to do with me. It was your dick, I, apparently. Save your dick story. Let's just get through on the round table yeah. and then get to the dick story. That's your other co host, DC William, the philosopher himself, Appreciate the you late guys. man himself. Is he, is he <laughs> late? I like yes, that. The late man on, himself. Is he late? Yes, but is he on time on stage? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. And kind of yes. also no, but cool. <laughs> by the way, by the way, DC, I was so close to going. Maybe. And then <laughs> my heart was like, give him the one. Just give, give him this one. <laughs> Just this Because you know he was going to take it away for himself. <laughs> yes! Right? Well, that's you, so... Comedians, bro. You knew <laughs> that he was going to do if that. If you fuck with DC, he'll eat it. He'll, he'll eat it. Yeah, yeah. But if you be like, nah, bro, you're the best. He'll be like, yeah, yeah bro. Nah, nah, bro. Try to slip nah, away bro, from my the pressure. My mother don't love you know? me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I can't, yo, bro. I, I need more than five minutes on stage or a foul with a bomb, bro. Bro, that's a fact. I, lo I, love, I, I love Pete last week going, like, what do you, you can't do five minutes? He's like, nah, bro, I can't do five minutes. He's like, you're gonna hate 10. <laughs> and guys, City Beside DC Williams is our, our guest. I almost said host again. You almost said host. We have four hosts. Yeah, you have, we have yeah four I'm four a host, host now. That's, that's cool. I was promoted with two Bergen, minutes. Bergen's not giving you more than five minutes. So. Yeah. Sean, honestly, you're the host. Now introduce yourself. I'm <laughs> Sean Millay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the cot of comedy. He's uh, the cot of yeah, comedy. Yeah, you you're the cock. the. Okay. No, oh, no, no. It's like you know, you're the the what is it? Memory foam. If you have cot, yeah, yeah. If you have a cot to sleep on, yeah. I'm telling you from military, from a military perspective. No, no, you're just, yeah, you're doing good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're just happy. You're, you're just, just content. Happy. You're just content. You're like, yeah. oh, I, I get to lay on something. Right. Everybody I bet it more is more of like a, a boring contrast to the memory foam, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I like the regimented <laughs> I, military. I will, say, I will say, though, Sean's voice is pretty caught like. Caught like? Like, like, like a little like, cottage. Like, like, like if I mm. came from like a long day of war and killing and like I couldn't take it and I needed like a nice warm mm. voice to lay on. Yeah, I'd that would be yours. my voice. I'd pick cool. Yours. Dude, I, I, can, can, it's like a, it's like the uh, like the poor situation. This bed's too cold. Yeah. This bed's too warm. Mm. Sean's voice is just right. Just right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Do you Sean's... get that a lot for your voice? Uh, yeah, I get like radio voice. Um, do or... you do voiceover work? So I'll do like cartoon stuff like with my friend, nice. but he'll he'll do like TikTok cartoons. So you if anybody audition? sees this that works for Pixar, Pixar. I would love, yeah, I don't know if you got Pixar creators no, watching this. Some... I don't know, do, does he have Pixar voice or more like I think I could be Pixar. Pixar is actually perfect for him, bro. He's he sounds like Buzz Lightyear. Bro. I would have loved to be Buzz. He could be Buzz. Chris Evans. Asshole. By the way, actually now that I'm listening to your voice, yeah. I like yeah. I like to say this, not to stunt on anyone here. You saw but it. yesterday, I got a VIP exclusive early access screening to the Lightyear movie, 6 p.m. at Regal. Oh, nice. That that sounds like you do have an <laughs> in with Pixar, then. <laughs> How you start hating already? Yeah. Yeah, that's not that hard to get, bro. Yeah, was it, by me, the way, by the way what you it was just Googling tickets. <laughs> it's I, used to, I used to audition for Pixar cartoon movies. Yeah. Almost always, like, playing a dog or donkey fan. Yeah. And I, I would. I would play are an you ant. Say, are you saying that? <laughs> black people, it's like black people if they want to get famous you know how they said they gotta wear dresses I don't, I don't how know how they gotta wear dresses Are you they gotta play a dog in no, a voice they they play a dog it's an animated yeah, 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 yeah no, there no, are no. always dogs and donkeys right, like, right. like 
I'm making it a race thing, but it's not. I would not, play like a puppy way, in a cartoon. That yeah, would be yeah, yeah. DC's way of like DC would fuck up in that way. That the one time he took a stance, he'd be like, "No, I'm black," and they make me play a dog in this movie. He's like, "The name of the movie is Dogs." The movie. <laughs> yeah, imagine yeah. me taking a stance. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, imagine me standing for something. <laughs> like what? You're just taking away from yourself. <laughs> Guys, was it good? Oh, sorry. Was it good? Was it good? I'm I, I'm Pixar? a big Buzz Lightyear fan. Oh, so. okay. um, it. So Lightyear, it was good. I liked it. It was a lot of fun. They did all the references. It's actually one of the most funny. Now that I'm thinking about it, I would see it again. But I've gotten into this fun part. I, don't, I haven't forgot your dick story. Um, <laughs> I'm a good host. Um, but I will say this. I went on like Toy Story on Facebook to mm-hmm. see like, um, that's actually where I found the tickets. I was just looking okay. for Lightyear and then they were like, early yeah. access streaming. T- get tickets now. I just got tickets, right? And... I'm telling you, can you actually do this? And see if you can have Facebook there, go to Toy Story and just look for any light year post. Go to the Yo, comments. You need to pop a Adderall, bro. Really? I, I thought he was on one. <laughs> Yo, he, he's on one. That's what I'm saying. He's, <laughs> a, he's, a, he's a bring it down. He says seven different things, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's exciting, man. The the light year like, posts are so like Toy Story and like kid like They're like, guys, make sure to come see the movie, the ending experience. Mm-hmm. And you go to the comments and like, I will never bring my kids to this movie because you guys have gay characters. Stop pushing your propaganda. Oh, do they really, really have gay characters now? Dude, dude, when, when I tell you, like, I, I'm not even trying to take a stance or anything. It's like a lesbian couple that, like, she dies in the first There's half. There's a lesbian couple in that movie? She DC dies. wrote those comments. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, and if you heard that voice, That's we forgot that. to introduce her. Again, that's our producer, the natty. great Natty Ice. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a natty cost. attack. That's a natty attack. I just wanted to know. Every time Natty gets one, we have to yeah. bring out a Natty Ice and chug yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. We have a shotgun of Natty Ice. <laughs> shotgun of Natty Ice. Dude. That's funny. We should do that. We should do that. that. Wait, what was your point with the Buzz Light? Was it just that? that people no, but it, it was more just interesting. It was like watching all these people lose their minds over a movie and then Dude, I'm such an asshole. I finally had a comment on one guy being like, <laughs> lesbian couple, so I try to push your propaganda. I'm like, and I just looked at his profile and it was very really dude-like motorcycles and stuff and I knew it would trigger him. So I just commented something like, Oh wait, these are the comments? Yeah, dude, they're just me. No, no Tim Allen. Like, yeah, I want to see Dylan's comment pop up. Bro. Oh, yeah, bro, Tim. No Honestly, Tim Allen my, is, my, I will agree with yeah, the no yeah, Tim yeah, Allen. Yeah, it's yeah. a movie <laughs> about, <laughs> wrong, what's I wrong draw with the line at the homophobia, but the, the, the Tim, Tim Allen. Allen. <laughs> it's disgusting Damn. what Disney has become, nothing but a liberal agenda machine. Mm. She's got a rainbow in her profile picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's wait, a fact. Hey, it's Jared. That's how you know it's a bot, too, bro. It's such a bot. That's how you know they're not making sense, dude. So I commented on this one motorcycle dude's profile on this comment, and I was like, I was like, damn, dude, you only like two girls kissing? What are you, gay? <laughs> That's good. What do you say? Oh, dude, he hit a fury. And yeah. Then, and then, and then I, I, saw, I saw he responded, <laughs> and then I was like, ah! I'm going to wait five minutes, let this sit, <laughs> and, then I, and then it disappeared. I did something oh, he deleted weird. it? Mm-hmm. I did something weird. I uh I got into a Facebook argument with somebody. <laughs> a low was, point, man. It was uh dude it, Facebook. If you never argued on point, Facebook, bro. they're better than any other <laughs> argument. But I knew, like, I was trying to. Have you ever argued on Facebook? Hey, dude, man, I argue can, on them all. Can I get a story out? This guy, yo. I mean, listen. Go ahead, go ahead, I get bro. it. So, um, uh, they were they were saying some shit about uh, Andrew Schultz, mm-hmm. right? And it was like the meanest thing you could possibly say. And I was in quarantine, not doing shit. And oh, so this is a while ago. This is a minute ago. And I'm on there, and I see what she said. And I, I was like... Do you remember what was the post again? Sorry. Something about Andrew, uh, Andrew Schultz posted like a clip. It was comedy. It was up. comedy. It was okay. stand-up. And she was like, this is disgusting. Whatever she said, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, but you're not real. And dude, <laughs> this lady went so hard. What do you mean I'm not real? What are you real? <laughs> I'm like, but you don't have a picture on your profile. Yeah, yeah. There's no about dude, you. Dude, you that's... have seven friends. You almost don't exist. Yeah. Dude. And she goes, I exist. I <laughs> yeah. exist. I'm like, no, you, but you don't. Wow. And she goes, you can stop texting me now. And I'm like, <laughs> if I'm texting nobody. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yo, just dog, writing off her. Triple down, bro. Oh, dude, dude, going dude, I've never heard of this route. <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> funny. Responding to haters on the exist. internet being like, dude, this is crazy you're saying this because you don't exist. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> such a good, like, yeah. How, yeah. Do you, how do you type in this and not exist at all at the same time? That's crazy, bro. I was, 
That's and, and by the way, I That's was really so funny. high, That's laughing so good. I was imagining this thing. Like, but you don't, don't exist. exist. And they're questioning, looking at themselves. So I was like, going to say, how, how I exist? Do you, like, she, uh, do you think she walked into like either a kid or like her husband's room and was like, touch me, touch, touch me, me, touch I me. I exist. This guy online <laughs> saying I don't exist. Can you, can you comment on at wow, him? Wow, dude. Tell him I exist. What was the Andrew Schultz thing she was saying about him? Whatever. You know that what was I mean? 2020, Poppy. I, I don't okay, remember. Okay, okay. But what I do remember is for some reason I was like, yo, why are you being a little bitch girl? Like, like I don't like you. Why don't you being a little to... bitch girl? That's yeah. 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 So Sean, you do a lot of like on the internet stuff. Like I know yeah. you do uh so you used to work with Gary V and yep. you still currently work with I still work with, work with like, Gary, yeah. And um I, you did a video of uh you um barking uh tickets. Yes. On on uh, Gary V. No, 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 no. It was for a comedy show. No, for a comedy show. Okay. Yeah. Dude, it was fucking hilarious. Thanks. So, yeah. I know Can we look at it? Can you go to Sean's profile oh, and uh, find the video? No, no, we love. Honestly, I love giving flowers here, yo. All right, cool. So, uh, the video did good online. Did good on. Yeah, that, I was surprised. I was like, uh, did, I, just, I saw it on YouTube. Uh, my reels pop. YouTube like. Uh, oh, the shorts. shorts yeah, shorts are, are big. That like is a weird like um like shit will go viral there like months to even a year later. Like it's like a weird like Roth R I R I R A <laughs> yeah, of yeah. like content. Um, uh, uh, yeah, what I really and I get I get hate comments too and that shit it'll piss me off. But, do you like, respond? Yeah, more so than I do to the people that are nice, which I realize I'm like, oh, that's kind of fucked. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm it's giving more, right? That yeah, is that's what you I see don't know first. Why people do that. I only listen to the fat jokes. Like, I'm so self conscious about being yeah, a fat yeah. guy that like I I think about it for days. You, you know, guys, you guys hurt me. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know I, who I responds know equally to both? This guy Dylan. Oh, he'll you, you he'll go in on a hater, but also like be like mad off. thankful for a fan too. Though. Yeah. No, because like that's that that's a mentality that which I started to realize because. I, and I said this before, and people need to realize that even look. So I always look at myself and how I act on a video. If I see a video that I love on YouTube, how often do you, on a video you love, comment, "Hey man, thanks for putting all the work yeah. in this video. You really did great today." Sure. But if he makes one wrong comment about like a movie you really like or like a wrong fact, you'll be in the you're a fucking idiot, dude. Stop making yeah. videos. Th uh, and it's yeah, bro. I've never ever go gone on anybody's fucking thing. Go, you're an idiot. You should stop doing. No, your but you're quick. Craft. Everyone's quicker to negativity on yeah, the internet that's, that's than they are to comment, most people, mm -hmm. than to comment positivity. So my angle is always, whether you're positive or not, like what, I'm matching your energy. Yeah. You come at me with love, guess what, man? We're all having love. Yeah. Come at me with some hate, bro. Oh, I see what you're saying. We're getting okay. petty. Yeah, 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 it yeah, helps yeah, yeah. to hate. If you match the hate with love sometimes, like that's what Gary always says, which is yeah. way, I mean, Gary went on flagrant and I was telling you before. Love I that was, episode. Yeah, and I was uh, like, I was in the background of that recording. Oh, like word. I got to be there and just like quietly watched. That's and cool. then, so the next day it came out and I was, as soon as it like was posted, I was excited. I'm reading the comments and right away it's all hate. And so I'm just, so I'm arguing how do, you hate with on, people. how do you hate on an episode? Well, why do I don't even people know. hate it? Because they think, oh, like, I can see why they hate Gary. No, 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 no. I, yeah, yeah, I get I well, No, I haven't we talked about this? This is what I'm saying. About this? There's a lot of quote unquote gurus and guys online who don't have like the history that he has, don't even probably own a business for real, but they're just on you like grind, 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 right. and give me views so I can keep making money on yeah. YouTube because I don't really but do anything But Gary gives you a plan. He'd be like, yo, it's fucking not, sell some shit. Because I think he gives you a plan. Like, First of all, he's vetted. He has successful businesses. He has thousands of employees, multiple businesses mm -hmm. that are successful. And the information he's telling you is the real shit, which is whatever you want to do, you got to put whatever the hours are in as much as possible to get where you need to so go. So Gary V, and if you're listening to this, DC needs a job. Resumes are coming. I think me and you have joked about this and just gotten high. And this is this, this is all just jokes. But like, you'll be scrolling and there's there's like the five Gary V videos. The the Jets jersey one, uh, yep. the wine one. Uh -huh. There's the uh -huh. one. I, <clears throat> Honestly, you need to post four or five times a day. Every social media platform. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you this much: the fifth time you watch a Gary V clip, you're like, "Yeah, no shit, dude." Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. And you, but you don't. It is. Ever, well, so how I see it is, and like, and he said this in a video before, is it's like a lot of people live in like negative households, or you're yeah. you're getting a lot of negativity, but. The, he'll say the same things, but it's kind of like when you're, you know, in class, like in a classroom, it's like a motivational poster, like hang in there. Like you see that, that every constant day. Constant positivity. Yeah, it's like, because you could say to me something today that I'm like, oh, that's a great point, but I'm going to forget it tomorrow. But if you tell me again tomorrow, I'm like, oh, thanks for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, that's that is the true. Truth that people, is true. Gary Vee could tell them exactly how Damn, to be dude. successful to their face, and they probably still won't do it tomorrow. Like Gary you know Vee, I mean? yeah. Gary Vee, Gary me on my own podcast through Sean. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's also like, remember, Damn, Gary, Damn, Gary, you're in there. Yeah, he's he's like indoctrinated me for remember, sure. Remember when you were a kid and you and you hear older people go, my mom used to say, 
always used to say, always used to yeah. say. And these motherfuckers live by that shit. And now there is some shit where I could old people who used to say that shit, but I'm like, but look how you're living. Like mm-hmm. this shit sucks, right? So maybe you should stop listening to that old retired right, rhetoric, right? right, right? right. But there are some people who are very successful. Used to be like my dad used to always say this, and, and he's I'm, one of those. And he's one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, doing yeah. that for yeah, yeah. everybody. You know? I, I like. I used to get. Bro, I used to get high on Gary. V used to be like an espresso for me yeah. a couple years ago. I was bro. just telling this motherfucker that he did the. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Sean, sorry, Sean. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's. You know what I'm saying? Kevin is also this is one of the most respectful, nice people in the world. But he just has these little tendencies, and he'll call me in the middle of the day. He'll be like, Yo, buddy, buddy. I just call someone a bitch ass dude at work, and I, it just <laughs> came out, man. Like I, I love it. I, I don't know it how great. I just did that. Like, yeah, it, it was my boss. Sometimes people are bitch ass dudes, but yeah. anyway, I, I was just telling Sean that like uh, when I wanted to get into comedy, when you want to do any art as an adult, it's almost embarrassing. At least where I'm from, right? And most people or society makes you feel like that. It's embarrassing, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And um, and I remember this Gary V fucking video. It's crazy to be talking about this motherfucker. But like, I remember this Gary V video where he was like, go to everybody you think will judge you and just tell them that this is what you're going to do now. Yeah. And you'd be surprised, one, by their reaction. He was right. Everybody was like, go ahead. You should actually do that. It sounds cool. Yeah. Or, well, fuck it. You already told them. Mm-hmm. They get they're gonna react how they react. Yeah, and they and bring I, up all the things that's gonna go dude, wrong. They that's, might, uh, they might, that's it's so funny you say that. Uh, I, and it was a big weight off my shoulder, mm-hmm. dude. I saw um, J Cole again at uh, Go Ball this past week, and I forgot he has this one line in the song where, if they don't know your dreams, they, they can't, can't shoot, shoot them, them down. Yeah, yeah. And that I and when I tell you I saw that live again, I've seen him live a couple times. When I said it out loud, I go, "Damn, I really lived a lot of my life by that." Because like yeah. there was times when I was moving up here, like I, I. I've always not done in secrecy, but until I was felt planted in what I actually did it, I'm never going to be like, to yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, I have a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm 20 episodes in before I'm like, I'm a podcaster or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. Right. You, like, you said, how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I, like, it's weird. Like, a couple of years, I guess. Uh, I, like, I started doing, like, the everyday thing, like, probably October, but... Um, you know, I didn't do it during the pandemic, and I, in college, I did a little like, but I would go drunk, or I'd go like, and I'd hope that they'd be like, "Oh, there's no more room on the list." So, like, <laughs> yeah, I so, those so, days. yeah, That's so funny. like, I don't really know how well, long. Well, like, what got you into like, what, what made you want to do stand up? Uh, like, I was like in in high school, or actually in uh, like ever since I was a kid, I remember like just like interrupting class and being funny and shit. So like in my fifth grade yearbook, it says I wanted to be a comedian. But the person that made me really want to do stand up was like Louis and the show Louis. I was like, oh, this is sick. So That's crazy. Yeah. I literally have a tattoo of the comedy seller on my leg, like the, the, little, the little comedian, you know, on the sign. Yeah, yeah. Like on my leg. So I had no idea I wanted to be a comic. Bro. Really? No idea, bro. I just I just saw open mic and get on stage for five minutes and walk by Broadway Comedy Club. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. No one even told me I was like that funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? DC funny, was already really, just walking down the street talking to himself and he was like, it's a mic. Yeah. I should be doing this. I think I can do that. <laughs> when people yeah. allow me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> DC was just walking down the street going, hey, man. People people act, cause a lot of people have those stories or that story. They're like, yeah, people told me I was funny. I'm just like, it was it. People found out like, oh, I didn't know you were like funny on stage but it's like it's funny while i'm on stage i can be the funniest i can be off stage the funniness almost stops I, yo, it, I, it almost stops yeah when i was a kid i, I knew i wanted to do stand up when i was a kid but i remember bombing for people uh-huh. like bombing for for people. your friends <laughs> yeah, yeah bombing like all my friends are good storytellers mm-hmm. i remember my friends just looking at me and be like I'm walking away. Yeah, walking yeah, away. Because yeah, yeah. like, oh, they, because right some dudes are killers dude, off stage. Oh. Just regular people. Dude, my problem was like my friends weren't funny. I think I would <laughs> bomb in front of my family. Like that's where oh, a lot of like, yeah. like the like, my dad and my brother were hard to crack. Mm-hmm. So when you did, it was not over like fuck shit, but it was over like. But you felt good, like yeah. It was over like a like not a twisted joke, but over some like a fucked joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like like oh dude, look at this dude looking like SpongeBob, like something dumb. When my dad would go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that it was never like a light-hearted joke. So it was mm-hmm. always like in front of my friends. I was always like, I was always animated anyway. So it was right. easy to be funny. I was always so focused on like. It was easy to be funny on my slap? family too slap? because they were very religious. So to be to dare to be inappropriate, my older brother was very inappropriate. He would laugh and that'll tell me like, oh, this is funny. And then my mom would either make a face or kind of because my mom's my mom was funny too. Like she's a funny lady. But like in just different ways where my funny's irreverent. Her funny is like my mom's like behavior is funny. Or she'll like, you so know, she, in a way, your older brother has nurtured your. He has not, he, not, not to get like sappy, but no, has he has nurtured your comedic 
bone because even he watched the most stand up in the family he'll come to shows and oh not daryl daryl no daryl's not really humor is not even something daryl is like a big fan of <laughs> like he's that was a serious There's dude something with, Car- <coughs> with caribbean families and like my mom used to say yeah. she would hear children laughing and then be uh, angry oh it's annoying bro like, <laughs> you know how yeah. crazy you gotta be as they a person right. they hate that shit to hear a beautiful children, bro, children watching cartoons laughing loud it irritates why are you laughing people. yeah 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 you've said no, that no, to no, you're before. here to eat you guys don't have something else to do homework anything yeah. else anything but else? laugh at yeah, cartoons no, like it's, it's crazy imagine bro. trying to be like imagine being five or seven trying to explain why you're laughing yeah you just I, I know, I'm saying, it's, it's, no, it's, I know. Like, yeah. I'm all, I could be on mushrooms at 24 and being like, dude, let's get into it. Right at Not, seven? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. My mom's. Why are you laughing? I don't know. My mom. <laughs> yeah. My mom has done a 180. <laughs> Yeah, my, you were saying this. My mom dukes right now. Well, they like, change when you grow up. Yo, so I go to her. I say, wow, shit to my yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I say, wow, shit, mom. What's that? I say, hey, but yo, son, it is crazy. She be like, Gary, don't talk to me like that, but I'm phony. Gary, don't talk to me like that, but I'm phony. Sean, is, you, uh, is your family like funny? Like, Yeah, my, my dad's funny. My mom's like creative and clever. So, Do you think you're the funniest in your family? Uh Definitely. nah, my Comedians my never, oh, yeah, dude. my dad's pretty funny. Like, um, by the way, that's the correct answer. If you're a comedian, you are never the funniest. No, yeah. no, I think some comedians are. I think hey, I think some are. I, obviously, there's outliers and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, like there's no way Dave Chappelle's not the funniest I think in his family. If everybody in the world, you'd be surprised, bro. Yeah, you'd be surprised, yeah. dude. His dad was probably I, mad funny. If everybody in the world did stand up starting tomorrow, like every single person, I feel happening. like Chappelle or. Uh, all the best comedians of like ten years from now would be like not relevant because like, I'm saying like that like you were saying you didn't even know you wanted to do stand up. No. I always think about that like you might be the best crocheter in the world, mm-hmm. but you've never crocheted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's yeah. people out there fingers that have never. no idea they'd be great. Dude, at can I tell you something? Right, uh, when right. we were in uh, D.C., I mean Derek Gaines is hilarious, really funny. Uh, I met one of his cousins for like the first time. This dude, uh, Ducky, and funny as fuck, right? Shucky Ducky, dude, you he was just going, he wouldn't stop, and like when you, but like you also start to see that um, he's really funny, but like being able to be tamed that is being like a stand up. So like yeah. I agree with you, there's a lot of people that would just naturally kill it, but I wonder how many people would pop off, get really popular, and then teeter off, and then yeah. we go back to Dave Chappelle because we're like. Damn, Def, dude, Def I, 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 I need man. someone that's like uh, that's a veteran. Yeah, like these people sound yeah. too e- like. Think about something about it's too eager. Even like uh, like I don't want to call anyone out, but even like I've heard veteran comics say that with some of the newer Netflix specials. Like, dude, this just sounds so like a new comic. It's yeah, just, not yeah. open mic jokes, but like this is not a and you eighteen know year stand up. That's okay. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody doesn't need to be eighteen years in before they get a special, bro. You no, could you no, could get better. Sure. You could drop a whack album and then drop a good one and evolve. Like I think, because even if DC's you look at planning for the future, he's like guys, guys. <laughs> yeah. If you look at some one, legends first special, all grow. of them weren't fire, bro. They all didn't drop fire half hours and hours, and then they got better and better and found their voice. But I think it's fine to like, oh, I have another special out. It was the best I can be right now. But in a couple years, now that I'm getting real stage time, I can really find my voice and build like an idea and express. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get real stage time. I was just told <laughs> that I'm not getting real stage time at a certain club anymore. Just cause you know they didn't like a particular thing I did. Really? Yeah. They was like, nah, 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 what happened? Nah, what club? Nah, nah, nah. We we know this. Can we know BK? what you did? Huh? BK? Huh? Yeah. What? Huh? Uh, I was just told. I was just told that this afternoon. Can uh, we know I what came, you did? I was or? Like, bro, it was a joke where he shits in a girl's face. I know it was. Oh, it was it? Okay, okay. I was hosting that day. Okay. And I made like a. Not, about- I made a little comment. You know. Where were you, Kevin? Soho Playhouse? Nah, 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 nah. This is the juicy. This is the podcast. Yeah, the yeah, stuff. So, uh, what did you say? I was. I just said some shit. Like the dude was like, "I'm a very reserved, quiet guy," right? And I was like, "This guy definitely is reserved and quiet." You know, I I known this dude for like a year. I said a total of ten words to him. Oh, he said a total of ten words to me. Nothing. It was something mm-hmm, silly, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you knew the guy in the crowd, no. huh? You knew the guy. This in is the, crowd? the this is uh, the person who doesn't want to book me anymore. Mm. And, go ahead. Um, go ahead. And then, uh, and then I was like, "Yo, can I get more spots?" Goes, nah, <laughs> nah. He said, "Did you know good anymore?" Wait. Man. So you went on stage and said you don't really know him. You said ten words to him in a year. Yeah. And he That's didn't like that. That's what I said. Or it could have been like he thought I was bombing, right? What? It could have been either. I don't know what the real story is. They, they said he just said you were no good anymore. Do we know this guy? Uh, Dylan knows him. 
Are we sure it's not the shitting in the girl's face story? <laughs> yeah, that's how it's... There's a girl walking out with shit and Kevin goes, I think it's something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like wiping By the shit way, off yeah, her face. Uh, <laughs> I am going to say this. I am... It could be the shit in the first story. <laughs> <laughs> You're no good anymore. I love when people say no shit good. like they run show business. He's no good. You're no good anymore. He's no good. You're never anymore. getting booked again. You're never getting booked again. Oh, that so, happened to me at a bringer, like the first bringer. At a bringer. Right? At a bringer? <laughs> well, I, it was like, remember when like, I said your that Your friends did... could come back. <laughs> you. Yeah. No, well. Can you was... bring your friends, but <laughs> well, stay outside? It was a bringer that we just didn't, we were like, we both chickened out. And he called me. He's like, you're never going to work in this town ever. I know who that is. Who You know who it was? He's fat. Evan Weiss. Uh, <laughs> Evan Weiss. I'll say his name. Yeah. It, I forget what club it was. What, what club? Greenwich. Was that? No, no, it was uh, uh, not. You, not you them. Name every club it was like up you town, town, something uptown, a oh, Harlem, like a Harlem spot. No, no, I forget. It, it was matter. so long ago. It yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I want. I want to say this. He's trying to get booked again. <laughs> 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 he's a good guy. Yeah. By the way, look, he's, uh, this, uh, look at this asshole trying to get booked. Yeah. <laughs> trying, to, trying to save face. I don't remember. It wasn't um, that big of a deal. I, I was told to bring something up to you. I have no idea what this means, but okay. um, I just, I was told by a close. We, I always do a little bit deep dive on my guests. So okay. I was told um to ask you about the Teletubby thing. Was oh, that? okay. What? Do you not know about this? I have no context. Oh, okay. Whatsoever. Um, so like when I first up and darn exclusive. <laughs> yeah, when I first started TikTok, um, I did this thing where I realized that when you tag celebrities, like, well, it first started that but, was you. You know that I've seen. This oh, is, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. I, so I, when you say, say the story for the okay. Say, so say, when say. I realized that, like, when you tag celebrities, like, you go to the top of their tag photos, but if you edit the photo, untag them, and then save it, retag them again, you go back to the top of their tags. Because, like, if it's like Billie Eilish, you got to fight to I be an intern the, for Gary Vee. Yeah, <laughs> I got no, you, no, no. By the way, this was that's Gary. Sean's mind. Oh, yeah, this is, this you probably pre- knew. This by the way, that's why he got Vee. the job. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I like, uh, this uh, literally, I was kid. in a. It was like a. Uh, I first started with a Justin Bieber thing. Like it was a, like, I, and I just was like, oh, people like when I mess with social media. So, so then I was like, I made a video like, hey, look at this, guys. I'm tagging Billie Eilish. It's this photo of me as a Teletubby from Halloween. I'm gonna do this <laughs> all day just because it's funny. And then like people were like, oh, it's still there because I was doing it all yeah. day. But then people started to help me. And so all of a sudden I made a video. I'm like, dude, look, somebody, Mr. Penguin is the account name. They're helping me tag Billy. We're going to just keep doing this until she responds. Uh, that's so and awesome. then all of a sudden it like blew up. Wow. And like, oh, it was weird. Like Obama was getting tagged. What the like, fuck? <laughs> every celebrity's page I went to. And this dude's then, on the list now. But then there was like cults forming. Like it was weird. Like there was like, I went to the group chats and it was like, okay, I'm treasurer, you're secretary. But then there was like other group chats, like go into this group, like people would message me probably, like go in this group chat and see what they're saying. It'd be like, uh, he's using us. We have to, we have, we have to make our own. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, it, was it was like the most insane yeah. and stressful moment in my life. But that was like, uh, that was like one of the more viral things I did. Um, and so it ended, I got David Dobrik to respond. And then that's his guy, Ellen. <laughs> yeah, the last one I did was uh, Ellen. Not jealous <laughs> yeah. at all. Well, the, that's the thing about TikTok is it was like literally dough brick. <laughs> yeah, dough brick. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think he likes me though. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> um, he recently deleted the comment he put on that TikTok. So. What a cock, bro! I know. I was like, dude, is it really that big a deal? But whatever. I think he had bigger issues. You didn't help him get more moment. views, so he's tight. I could be overthinking it, but the comments definitely deleted. So <laughs> I could be overthinking. I'm thinking it, but I check it every day. No, yeah, I feel yeah. like you're not overthinking it. I when probably, you watch that Dover documentary, he's like, no, nah, he thought about that. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. I'm going to comment this. He made a video about it, and his friends were like, that's hilarious. He's like, no, it's annoying. And I was like, <laughs> whatever. It and doesn't then, matter. Like, it's, He does it's so David many Dober. annoying things. Like, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, um, but then I got Alan. Uh, like, so there was oh. this kid. Actually, some girl messaged me like, hey, there's this kid, Eric, from my school. He's terminal cancer. He loves Alan. I was like, all right, for the last one, because all these kids were messaging me like, who's next? And I'm like, ah, fuck, I don't know. Like, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Like, of course not. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do it. Like, DC, you would have done this for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, that's what people on TikTok do. They're like, they find something that yes. works, and they're like, okay, I'm going to do this forever. And some people... Bro, it got, that got me to like 4,000 followers, and I just couldn't. I was like, what else do I do, bro? Wait, why? What did you do? I was just posting funny shit. that We used to make like these old sketches, and the one of them had this oh, like, the footsies la- with your homie, went crazy viral on TikTok, it got me. It, they got like a million views, and then like the followers went up, and I was just like, I didn't give up the views. I, just I had cannot to put my toe in his this, mouth. It was pretty like, funny. <laughs> how, do I, yeah. how do I keep? What else do I post? I started posting things after that. They were cool, and then things just started to not go viral and not go. Yeah, viral. well, you like, can't. Jesus Christ, so before we cut off the terminal ill uh, cancer kid story, 
Oh yeah. yeah. So I got. Uh, so we did it to Ellen, and then she tweeted, "Eric Erdman, I see what you're doing." I'm like, "That's a cop out." Like she, he wanted to go on her show, but then, uh, and then she got canceled, and then he passed away. <laughs> <laughs> Which it was a shitty. It was a shitty <laughs> time. Know why that was funny. It was a why. shitty. No, I know it's terrible. Hey, listen, a lot of like eyes got brought to his charity. He's a great dude, <laughs> yeah. but also but it was sad the timing. It was like Ellen, his hero, canceled, and then he passed away. And I was also like, canceled. Also, when he said way. Ellen canceled. <laughs> My brain went to go autofill for a second. I thought he was about to say, and then Ellen got cancer. She died. Yeah. Everyone died in this well, thing. You know what kind of cancer? Cancer, bitch. Brain cancer? It was, yeah, it was brain cancer. It was brain, it had Super to be nice brain cancer dude, too. We would... It had to be brain cancer because Ellen DeGeneres was his fucking hero. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, that's a good joke. <laughs> yeah, that was a good joke. It was. No one wanted <laughs> Eric, to Eric, I love you, bro. I'm second. sorry. Uh, recipe, yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> I I, I, wait, was it really brain cancer? It I, was, yeah. I guess that was. That's pretty funny. Wow. <laughs> that's an uh, insane story. Uh, we're on a limb, baby. Guys, it's, let's get into plugs. Book me at Brooklyn Comedy Club. Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, um, do we want to hear the dick story before or after the plugs? Oh, you after really, plugs. You really after got canceled story. from BK Comedy Club. Look, I don't even can't. I mean, listen, nobody's ever canceled. In this I got to see business. this. Who's this guy that just gets tight when you guys perform? Bro? I don't know, bro. <laughs> what? what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't. Whatever. Come, am I allowed to talk about that? Promotion tax? I don't know what that means. Well, then we're gonna find out. Guys, uh, this is yeah. Dope Dope and Done, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Make sure to follow me on all platforms at Dylan J. Negri. Go follow the podcast on all platforms, Dope Dope, po- Dope, Dope Comedy. And uh, guys, go check out my dates. I'm going to update my website this week. I'm doing an Albany show hosting for Big J soon, and I'll be at the stand in a couple weeks. So guys, check me out. I'll be at the stand. I'll be, I'll be doing uh, Frantic soon on a Monday. So hey, Monday now, I'll be there. let's go. Uh, You're doing Frantic? He gets it. He gets it. He gets it. I hate, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. Yo, it's IT. It's ITS Kev Sanchez on Instagram and Twitter. Yo, like, comment, and subscribe, yo. It, it costs you nothing to Look do. Look at my boy on his I shit. Know, I'm on, I'm on, yo. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. It costs you nothing to do to do it, and it means everything to us. Means nothing to you. <laughs> Just fucking do it, man. Do you guys have like diehard fans at this point? Like, do we're they... getting there. Yeah, no, it's something been dying. They're, like they're, ten they're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say diehard fans. Yeah. They're just yo, yo. What if we just build a fan base of people? That are dying. Like, make a wish foundation. Like, don't make a wish foundation. You, you, I don't yo, know. What, yo, why are the views them? down this week? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> How about we the, take the, advantage the, of a oh, bunch of dying kids? The comments know? are a little. Kids, adults. The comments are a little light, too. Ooh. Adults. <laughs> what uh, does a make a wish for adults? Do adults get make a wish? No, after, eight, sure. after 18. Remember, D- Tosh had that joke. After, eight, after 18, they draw a hard line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Tosh had that joke. He goes, I love to think if there's like a bunch of linebackers sitting up there, they're like, no, and then they're pushing. And get the one 18 year old who won't try to come in, but they have yeah. to push hard because he's dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> DC Williams, um, follow me on Instagram at Amber Heard Did It. No, no I'm just kidding, that's not my tag anymore. <laughs> DC Does It, DC Do It, ITT, and Mungle and Oxtail Comedy Show the second and last Friday of every month skeet, until skeet. we're no more. And um, yeah, man, so, that's that's so all I got for you guys, man. I appreciate what? you guys. Is like, he, comment, subscribe, man? follow. And you know, be yourself because nothing else really matters, dude. Honestly. Be you, that's when you be beautiful. And for our guests, last but not least, Sean, tell them to find you. Um, Sean Malay on all things S E A N M I L L E A. And uh, that that's that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's Sean right there, baby. Give it up for Sean, y'all. Sean, I know for a fact there's just creativity, so much ideas happening in that head of yours. And the second, it's just your mouth. Your, I don't think your mouth lines up with what your brain Damn. wants to create. I, <laughs> I, because I baby. feel like there's so much creativity in him, and then he'll just and like you'll just be like, shut you out. He'll just it's so it's so here. It's so. Do you agree I, with I've, what he's I've seen I've seen his pose. It's, he's so smart. So uh, so, uh, damn. <laughs> I don't uh, imagine. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Right. No, it's not <laughs> this. It's more like it, it's it's almost surprising because I feel like you're. Uh, it's, I don't say holding back, but I feel like uh, you're. He's saying you're lazy. No, I he's feel like he's no, I know what you mean. He's telling us how like... to go viral. Is what he's <laughs> yeah, <saying>. yeah. <laughs> we know what DC's been thinking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> help, help my friend. I'll help you. Uh, Please. It's funny. A lot I'll of the podcasts I'm on yeah. are just like, how do you go viral? And I'm like, I just kind of have like, it feels like stand up now where, you know, you just like, you're doing the same jokes. I'm yeah. like saying the same things. Yeah. And like do the you last. Do you think there's a formula to, to viral? 
Um, not a formula. I think it's just like be interesting and like, uh, cause like to me, what I was, one thing I do say is like, especially on TikTok, like TikToks are one minute long. People watch a thousand mm -hmm. TikToks. Like it's not that hard to slip yours in there, you know, just like remove anything that's not interesting or not necessary. Uh, make sure the first sentence is very interesting, like hooks people. It's like, it's a lot of times what I say is it's like in high school when you're writing an, in, an English essay, they're like, your first sentence has to hook people. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a thesis statement. Like, mm. it's like the same sort of thing. Where it's you hear like, this, Natalie? Same <laughs> thing. Notes. So like, <laughs> so like from this pod, like, Literally, the opening to the TikTok would be like, I fuck it, there's a ton of dicks out today, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, if I'm scrolling, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, what, what do you mean, you know? Like, I had, I pulled good a segue joke that I was in <laughs> Damn. Trump. I, I Could've left it on the cover of like, um, GC. Uh, <laughs> anti-Trump or something, and yeah. I think the algorithm pushed it down because Trump was, like, in the subtitles or something like that. Yeah, I'm personally, like, it I'm, did like... did fine on Instagram, sorry. Oh, it did? No, yeah, no, it no did. worries. It, it, was like, it was, like, a joke, but about Trump? No, it wasn't even about Trump. It was about how... I was just talking about how girls, like, post pictures on dating apps and shit, and yeah. how they'll, like, have their ass out, Dizzy, and the caption is anti-Trump. I see. And that's really what it was talking about. And it, it was like, I know that shit was, like, Trump. All they saw was Trump, and they were like, no. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no. yeah, yeah. Even like, cause I'm just uh, personally, I'm just bored of that sort of thing. Right. Like, so that might be it. But, but even yeah. something about Asian girls, I had this little joke about like this guy, white dude's dating Asian girls, and they were like, no, no, no. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, all right. Uh, the tech, the text he's helps he, he too. He doesn't work like, for TikTok. Yeah, like, yeah, no. And also, like, like you're just complaining he about what your algorithm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I get it. Like, say, yeah. it's, 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 like Sean, why isn't this working? Yeah, no, for real, because you probably know why. Like, also, like you said, uh, Trump uh, is that Asian joke though. That's against the CCP rules, buddy. That's what I'm saying. No, so I'm like, TikTok right. was probably like, yo, nah, you're not gonna do jokes about Asian women make white dudes happier. And I was just like, that was really the gist of the joke. And they were just like, nah, we're uh, not feeling it. Or maybe it, they were telling you to cut the fat because that was really funny. Maybe. When you said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's DC Possibly Williams, aka the fat of this podcast. It gets straight to the point. Um, no, that's usually what it, it's like. Remove anything you don't need. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, like, because if you like, I had the the Teletubby thing. I actually one of the more viral things from that was mm -hmm. I told the story on a podcast, that's and somebody what, yeah. at work edited that yeah. story for for me. And it was like you know when I told the story to the guy Ted Jones on the podcast, it was like three minutes. But it like when you edit it for TikTok, it's like. 55 it's seconds yeah. yeah it's like there's things in there i'm like oh i'd love to have this but it's like you if you don't need it for the story the, to understand it yeah take it out like mm. so that you're like you're it's you're a salesman you're just trying to shake them too you're like huh. fucking watch this you know yeah yeah, yeah. No, shout no, out to really ryan seacrest you don't get enough credit for the jumps for the jump edits ryan seacrest yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, he did that with kim kardashian uh the, well keeping up with the kardashians that jump edit shit Ryan Seacrest edited. Was it Ryan Seacrest? I, Ryan Seacrest I don't know. I, 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 do I, I, do, I, do, I do like to give the credit of the jump cut to Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, Ryan Seacrest. Nah, it should be. That, yeah. that's, that's the man who did that shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is such a Dominican oh. Harlem dude. He's like, that's who did it, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, my man. Ryan. What Yo, source, Seacrest. dude? Not, what, what source? source? My man Ryan Seacrest <laughs> said it. He said, yeah. I did that shit. <laughs> Hey everyone! Yep, you heard that right. It's actually not Dylan, it's Natalie. Yep, that's me back there having a great time watching the episode. You know what I'm not having a good time? Watching these two buffoons try to go through an ad read. So let me tell you about our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Neven Eyewear. Neven is our favorite new partner because they never need a promo code. Summer is basically here. I'm sure some of you are looking for a pair of sunglasses, but they're either trash or way too expensive. And that's why Neven is here. You get great quality sunglasses and they are always buy one, get two free. That's right. Just go to their website, add three pairs to your cart. No code is needed. Buy one, get two free. Super affordable and really great quality. I have a pair. I love them. 100% risk-free offer, free shipping and returns, an everlasting guarantee. Lost, stolen, broken, Neven replaces every pair that you purchase. That's neveneyewear.com. N-E-V-E-N iwear.com yeah get them they're great back to the show uh kev uh i, I know i feel like we've been dodging uh this dick story i almost don't want to tell it anymore bro no, it would, no, it would no, have been i want to hear this yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so <laughs> and all the peer pressure that time <laughs> yeah. yo that was so funny he goes bro i don't want to go to the party yo come to the party all right come yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right fine story time with kevin bro he just That's wanted he just wanted us to 
to want it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta want, so I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you two dick stories. Okay. Okay. That's how. That's how big the dick is. Let's, it's let's two do the one. Yeah. We'll see. Don't. Don't. Hey. <laughs> one John, dollar, just Like kidding. where your head is. Like where your head is at. <laughs> Two's sorry. a party. Yeah. So, You're the host. <laughs> so I'm walking to take the L train. I'm on 14th and 8th, and I have this heavy ass bag on my work shit, and I'm like, I kind of want to take the elevator down the stairs, right? And then I said, nah, just go down the stairs, bro. And for some reason, I peeked into the elevator, and uh, I could see this guy. He's squatting. I'm like, he, it, actually, he's moving a lot. Squatting. Right? And I'm like, why is this guy moving so much? And I stood there, and then I see him humping the air with his dick out, just like fucking, like, just swinging his dick, and the yeah. doors open, and I see this man, and go, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so <laughs> wild, bro. Same guy. Same guy, because I just... I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not sure it was the same guy, but I felt this guy's energy because you followed him. He followed. Me. Oh, well, well, you went down went, the stairs. I went down the, the stairs. Elevator went down. Elevator goes down. <laughs> He's on the L train now. And he pulled up his pants and shit like that. It, honestly, it looked like he was taking a shit too. I, I just assumed it. All. Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming all this, but taking a shit and doing a windmill with your dick dude, is it was that's impressive. Also, impressive. squatting to masturbate though. That's he was really he was trying to get it off. I don't think he was masturbating. Okay, that's the thing. all right. Because right. I know I see. Big penis, because I saw you flop. Right, right, Have you right. ever seen the squatty potty? Technically, we're supposed to squat when you shit, That's piss, true. or masturbate. Yeah, actually, no, I never like really put my knees well, in. Is that the squatty head in the squatty potty? When I took a shit in the woods, that was the <laughs> quickest shit I've ever taken in my life. You, you guys ever took a shit just standing up, like not squatting? Call me right squatty potty. I'll, I'll, I'll tell some never. units. What? <laughs> like accidentally in like, eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Like, into yes. pants. Oh, yeah. no, like as like a full adult, <laughs> like you're just what not you squatting. About? Like you ever you took a shit this? not squatting? What are you talking about? You hearing this? Taking a shit not squatting. Guy? He goes. Vertical. Yeah. Have you stood up and you're just taking a shit? Just shit. Just hands You've done by this? your side and just shit. You've done this? Bro, of, absolutely. What do you mean of course and absolutely? Sounds like it's been what, a multiple What occasions. does that mean of course and absolutely? Yeah, he's like he's like in between spots. Yeah, yeah. He's just walking in the street. He's like, dude, go through West Forth. Yeah. Like that's like a person take a stroll through the grass. Really yeah. gives no fucks. Like a guy that could just shit standing up, just hands by his side, like nothing's happening. No, no, no. But where Stop is... saying a guy. A guy. No, I... his name is DC <laughs> Williams. I've never done that. I've so now done we that. know two facts about this guy. This no. guy shits when he comes. I mean, comes when he shits. And... <laughs> it's like a poetry novel. <laughs> that is a true thing. I don't know why it happens. I need to go to the doctor. And um, but no, I've never taken shit gay. That's why it happens. Up. You need to go to the doctor. You need to go to a therapist to I figure know, out your bisexuality. I don't know if it's I'm coming too much or not coming enough. Enough, um, normally, yeah. but yeah, bro, I be you guys know, bro. I go to the bath, I take shits, and sometimes I come too. So, okay, we've been talking about too much. Oh, about you this. don't shit when you come, you come when you shit. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine <laughs> I shit when I come, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude but I think I'd rather. Oh, I don't know. I'd Imagine rather never come. getting late again, bro. Never. Like you. Want. Dude, by the way, this is a question you'd ask in middle school. Yeah. And yeah. one of the answers is actually his life. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, so you come when you shit. You don't shit when you come. That you was crazy. Why is it so rhythmic? I, I don't know. Why bro. is it so rhythmic? It's bad though, man. I need to. Fi I gotta figure it out, man. I gotta go I don't to come the, when I shit. Every I time. shit when I come. Oh, not hey, every oh. time. Not every time. Like. Uh, a couple times a week it'll happen. I don't come when I shit. Like, I shit when like, I come is it like, a, like an org? Like you feel? Like it no, good? it doesn't feel or not. I don't really oh, feel anything. Like, oh so shit, it came out. Like, it'll, yeah, oh, and I'll look in there. Look okay. in. This is, and especially during this, I was like seven months of no masturbating and that shit would happen way more often. Do you think the first time like, it, it happened, he did it like a real detective? He was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, bro. Like any guy would. Just, I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, trying to make course. sure. I'm like, is I'm like, what? Did I'm you like, th did you think it was an STD at first? Yeah, of course. Of and course. but I was just like, no, that's cum. Like you know, yeah, you know what cum looks like. You know what your cum looks like at least. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it tastes like you know. No, don't know what that tastes like at all. You, you never know? tasted your own. I cum? know it smells like bleach a little you never bit. You never tasted your own cum. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Why you have never, accidentally? Yeah, ex yeah, no way. You one of those dudes that like lick cum off a chick, bro? No. Oh, okay, okay. That's some white boy shit. No offense. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. DC doesn't consider me white. <laughs> yeah. I tried. I'm trying to honor the fact that you say that you're you're. I know. I know what you. You're white passing, but not white. I can tell we were friends there. You're not white. No, I exactly. <laughs> no, 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 exactly. No, no. I didn't know that. No, 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 I don't believe it. My, no, my, my family's just Jewish, and my my dad's Israeli, so I, oh. I am white. My mom's from Jersey. I am white. It's just funny because I I saw the friendship there. He goes, no offense, and I was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know if you like be white. Like, I don't. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings yeah. today. This is so bad to be white. You know? um, I want to say this because uh, we do this podcast, and uh, Kevin always stresses about his job on oh. this podcast. 
Okay, and, 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 and I need this. and I need to, I've been showing this text to so many people and it just makes me giggle every time because I we, gotta see this man. You gotta understand something. Unbelievable. He talks about it on the podcast. He talks about it. Used to. I stopped. But you're gonna bring it up again. That's fine. Yeah. But he'll still call me. There'll be times like you know you have like a homie talk a little bit, bro. I'm stressing out. I feel I'm fucking up my job. I think I'm fucking up in life and comedy. All this shit, right? And then on Monday he texts me and he goes and he calls me and I go I picked up. He goes, buddy, can you just call me? Text me. I go, yeah. So she, I go, work, what's up, buddy? He goes, you know how I'm always like, I'm going to get fired, LOL? I was I like, know why he said that. oh, shit, bro. My, my guy, he's about to, I about to have to help the homie. Well, I got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Stop trying to get fired. <laughs> he keeps dude, trying to get you're fired. You're failing your way to the top. Dude, dude job can you... Oh, you got the raise. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought it was yeah. you. I'm sorry. No, no, no he's almost off this podcast. I already need yeah. I don't need a raise. He actually okay. got me a great job, bro. Like it's not fucking hard. It's an account executive Buddy, job. Buddy, why why do you, you always feel like you're their failing? Bathrooms, yeah. so <laughs> be why like, do you always there come out everywhere? <laughs> what are you well, doing this... in here? Well, he keeps blaming it on Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, Kevin's just race. waiting for them to be like, you don't got to work here no more. So he can go, yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, no. I think you want to get fired. He does, bro. <laughs> that's that's how he does. does. It's like his first job. And he's like, bro, I think they're going to fire me. I'm like, bro, no one's going to fire you. They like you, bro. You just sometimes want to do your job and sometimes you don't. That's I will it. say, though, I will say, I do think part of Kevin's job is just being a vibe. Because <laughs> he's told me before, he goes, dude, I haven't done anything this week. And I, I go, yeah. Hey, he man. goes, <laughs> hey man, they we're recording this. Yeah. No, 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 no. But by the way, you could have done shit. It's just how you feel. And then he goes, and then we're going to a baseball game this Saturday. And bro, With I could tell, company. I could tell they weren't having fun until I got there. <laughs> but it's true. Sometimes I'm no vibe, bro. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a fact. People be mad tense, and I, I can't do it. I could kind of do it by myself, bro. But it helps when you're there to balance out the wild jokes. You know what I mean? That I might oh. try to say or whatever it oh, is. Bro, like yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, you went to the card oh, game? I got reprimanded. Did you really? Yeah. Wait, tell me this real quick. Tell me this real the quick, boy bro. Boy, was there. We playing cards. Oh I'm like my talking God, shit. Bro. I'm I'm making them laugh. You're I'm drinking. Doing my I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a little. Is this a job or the mafia? Yeah, I'm a little. No, we're saying we're drinking, but playing poker. Play, Twenty-two play toes. It's a startup, bro. You know it's not is real. Is that what it is? It's a startup, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, I got I got a perk. I got a Adderall story. So. Uh, Do you so, have Adderall? Because I, I no, prefer no, no, that. No, okay. uh, I got you. I got <laughs> okay. you later. But like, so I'm at this poker game and damn, I don't know if I should share this story. No, tell it to you. Whatever. Just the, yeah. it, it's going to be anticlimactic because I'm not going to make it as fun as it could be. But why? because I... Uh, no, I said lie. I didn't say why. Oh. Yeah, so did. anyway... <laughs> Uh, I'm playing and I made an inappropriate joke. I forgot what I said. Nah, nah, you gotta remember I wish, what you no, no, said. I, I bro. forgot what I said, bro, because <sighs> I was hammered, bro. <laughs> he remembers. No, no, I wish I did, but all I remember Drunk was. Kev remembers. I, I remember. Sober Kev, does sober Kev does. But if I was. So, I'm, <laughs> so the white. Nobody. It kind of bombed, right? Um, or it did okay. And then the girl. That's how you know it bombed. He goes, he bro, it, it's it a poker him. game, bro. Goes, oh, it bombed. <laughs> it kind of bombed. You don't it did okay. You don't, yeah. don't yeah. bomb off stage. You, know, it hurt. Bro. you can tell it hurt him that that joke yeah. didn't land. It, it didn't land the way I thought it was going to land, right? Yes, it bombed. But uh, So then this white girl goes, she goes, she says our, something our like. Co-worker. Say, listen, just, just, say, just say, say white girl, yeah. right? You don't got to say all that. trying to hey. save the first job you ever all liked. <laughs> so she goes, she says something like, Something about if you can't make a joke for everyone, then make the joke better. Some shit like that. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, and, I looked at her, and I looked at her, I was like, I don't take advice from white women about jokes. Whoa. And the room fell silent. Really? Except for my boy who was like, oh! like one of my boys was like, oh! so This is a co-worker. This is a co-worker. Manager. You said that, bro? Yeah, and, I, and, I, and she was like, and then some, then some other dude was there, and he goes, is that really what you want to say? I looked at her, I was like, yup. That's exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> you know why I felt confident? Way, you know why way, I felt confident? Yup always hits bro. different when you're trying to make a point to someone. You go, is that really what you want to do? Bro, yep. Yo, I you, know all these people uh, and I wish I was there uh, to keep laughing, bro. Oh, bro, bro. Bro, you know I'm a wild boy, right? Now, everybody was looking like kind of staring at me. I felt the heat. And this fucking dude hey, who's, not, who's not in the company. Down. This dude's not in the no, company. No, he's doing a kiss. He's doing the, he's doing the, what do you? He sounds like Gary V giving yeah, him yeah, bad, yeah. but he's like giving bad advice. And I was like, "You little cock, bro! Like what I don't even saying? know you." He goes, "Do you really want to say that to my wee wee?" Oh, that's that white woman. And I meant that. And then she goes, "I could tell you don't take advice from white women." I was like, "Well, then why are you talking?" Wow. 
<laughs> no, I ain't say that part. I <laughs> wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey lies, lies, This is a great story. <laughs> But uh, wow, so dude. it seems so it, like you t- you was val you should be worried about the job maybe <laughs> can I say that right uh, no nah, no nah, I'm good no 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 by I'm the way good. that's how we got the race <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, all right no, cool no. Well, you, can't yeah, get, yeah. you can't get you can't it was Brooklyn they were like we respect your honesty and how brave you were to it's call out right here in Manhattan hey right. we're gambling <laughs> and drinking that's in the fact. conference room. You can't get mad at me. Like, you can't snitch on me. You can't get mad at a racial slur. Or yeah, and I didn't say any racial I really don't slur. remember the joke, huh? Uh, I, I wish I By did the way, so bad, This just makes bro. me want to think of, can we do like can we do a sketch where it's like PC mafia members where they're all just sitting in a circle and they're all really mad? And he's like, hey, yo, go. And he says something that's a little, a little off. Like, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's already been done. That's already been done. Uh, SNL. Dude, you're in. <laughs> so, but let me tell you something else, though. I, I, you know what I was thinking, bro, when I was in what? that moment? What? I was like, yo. You know if shit hits the fan, the first people to die are people that get upset at jokes. I thought you were going to say white women. <laughs> You're I the first one. White women. The first people to die too. are white women. <laughs> you you oh got to go. God, what bro. shit is going to hit the fan <laughs> at the startup company you work oh, no, at no, no, where no, no, people no. will have I'm, to die? I'm talking, <laughs> about, <laughs> I'm talking about in general. I'm talking yeah, about that life, is true. Right? Though. I, by the way, you got to kill the annoying <laughs> people first. The people that can't take a joke. The people that are going to be like, you can't say shit. Wait. You're going you're gonna to be the, the, the human meat we're going to store for later. Can you be your boss? Reprimanding. Wait, can you be your can you be your boss for a second and I'll be you? And you just, you know, you just tell me, like, yo, Kevin, yo, you can't call white women that, you know. Okay. The crazy, because... Well, hey, 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 uh, Kevin, I, I heard that you guys were having a friendly poker game uh, mm-hmm. the other day. Um, I feel like... Buddy, I heard buddy, what you buddy, said buddy, about... Buddy, 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 can I, can I cut you off? If there was a zombie apocalypse right now, you realize... Who would you kill, me or them? And they'd be like, Kev, you got it. Yeah, you're right. you got it. Kevin, you got it. Oh, Kevin, you, you, you're a pretty good boy. guy. You've been underpaid. Thinks when he's hanging, he's doing a comedy hang all the time. It's not a I will co- say this. Yo. It's the vibe. I, DC, I'm a vibe, but also remember, that I remember right then and there, I'm never doing this again. I forgot I'm always around savages, and yeah. these people are not like this. It's corporate. No. Yeah. It's corporate. If and Ray was there, and oh, my, I don't mention people, but if the people that you know that would yeah. be cool with it, it'd be like different, but bro. Can I the, tell you something? If that one person wasn't there, it would have been a vibe. That's what I because I know the, the our boss is not no, the one that no, said no, no, anything. No, no, no. I know he's the, the, the funniest part about that story is just oh some white God, dude had an dude. earful that night for dinner. It was just, it oh, was just oh, you oh. all night at dinner. Oh, can I say something? You know, I knew Kevin and this dude. Oh, I can't even say that one. Oh my God. You're Tell like the jester. Kid, you know how like jesters used to just be like, <laughs> dude, you just called you a jester. Well, yeah, literally. I'm fascinated by jesters, but like they used to like. Back then, there would be not only like if you weren't the king's jester, there was yeah. like private family Court jesters. Mm-hmm. So like you could just like you'd wake up in somebody's house and there'd be somebody there like, all right, start telling me jokes. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what you are to this company. I am. But you yeah. gotta damn dude. Uh, every day, open mic for the same five people. Except yeah, it's a yeah, salary right. for it and health benefits, which is ridiculous. yeah. But new jokes every day. And, you gotta, <laughs> and it's like and it's crowd work. By the too. way, oh, by the way, I love he's like salary benefits. It's like seventeen fifty. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> No, it's like room and hey, board. Yo, bro, don't be disrespectful, <laughs> no. bro. I'll make a decent list. Bro, this is a startup, bro. They overpay you to do everything, bro. Honestly. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I thought you meant seventeen fifty the year. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 you sound defensive too. I was like, bro. I was money like that. How did you go get paid hourly? That's seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. You just heard him say he got a raise and listen to the shit he just did last night. Yo, you offered me seventeen fifty. I spit in your face. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to make more money, and I'm still like, but they kind of pay me enough. You know though. what, DC? <laughs> I definitely know why you're late to this podcast every week. Oh, I can't compete with 1750. Unlimited PTO? No. <laughs> Unlimited PTO. I've never had that. Mad <laughs> snacks. Mad coffee snacks. machine. I never. Br- I, uh, Our CEO just I, hit us up. Emailed us. He, he was like, hey, yo, don't even worry. Don't even about worry me. about the economy, he bro. Right now, <laughs> we got a chest. He said that cash flow we just got, y'all are good. Got good. <laughs> I was like, what? I said, I said, by the I way, said, I bro, he was like, you, you hear him saying, it's economy's crashing, the sky's falling. It's guys, not. Guys. I, was like, I was like, yo, this thing, I fuck with him, bro. Yo. It's not. Uh, yo, shout out to the Resix, baby. Yes. If, if God had any humor to him whatsoever, the we, next we week tomorrow. would open with, 
So we said some things last week we showed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta hit up. Well, I, 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 I should have hey, shut the fuck that. up. Hey, yo, Dylan, you gotta take that in our podcast. Yeah, bro. So, uh, did they? Do, you, do your coworkers watch this at all? Not, not this far in. So yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think so because the the team our team manager was like, um, yeah, I've been watching. Yeah, I've been saying some wild shit. And of course, I'm like, we do. But he was like, Kevin. I was watching and Kevin said so. I was like, I know it was Kevin though. <laughs> Kevin says the wildest shit. Yeah. But some of them do watch it. I always tell me, I got a podcast, but you don't have to Sean, watch it. Please don't watch it. Do you try to like worry about saying like two? Wild jokes or like, like he's in the um, right space, yeah. I don't. I like. I don't really. Um, I I've yet to have anything that I'm like. Oh, this is you know too bad a joke no, or whatever. You don't like, have to say anything crazy, but like, like even the joke with like the him saying like, oh, as a kid, was it brain cancer? Because obviously his favorite person was like those jokes. Some, there's people out there who'd be like, I wow, you are not. That's the same Teletubbies you know, guy. Uh, I yeah, thought you were yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when That's he really said funny. it, I, exactly. when you guys were doing the ad reads, I was in my head like, huh. <laughs> Listen, like, but wonder. it had nothing to do with you. I said it. Right? Yeah, I know. I know. Right. I mean, like. So also, my man's dead. He don't care. Well, I, uh, it, an interesting thing I, I, I heard once on this, like, I watched this psychiatrist guy on YouTube. Jordan uh, Peterson, just say it. No, Dr. Todd <laughs> okay. Grande. Okay. Great, great channel. Okay. But he uh, he did, like, a list of his favorite comedians, and he was talking about how dark humor is usually a sign of intelligence. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, which is a cool thing. You know, I don't want to fall back on that and be like, I can say whatever I want. Like, I'm, I'm smarter smart than you. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> oh, you don't yeah, think yeah. it's funny? Well, you're just dumb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, I mean, like, by the way, you, there's a few comedians. You, yeah, <laughs> by the way, it's like, you just did an impression of like 35 comedians <laughs> yeah. I know right now. Do you know how many times on this pod or, or, every, or like a lot of pods I've done, but this one, you know, the Bo Burnham, you see the outtakes he did recently? I watched some of it. I didn't get through all He of did it. like a podcast thing and it's mm -hmm. just like, oh, the Joe like, Rogan thing. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, we, comedy, we could say whatever. Or, or like, freedom of speech is like dead. The yeah. Man, yeah. The yeah. And it's such a good bit, but I'm like, Damn, I, I, I feel like I'm. he's making fun of me. <laughs> like, he is. He's making fun of people who podcast. And yeah, and which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, what he's, that's his job. Yeah, no, that's true. Now, is he a little bitch boy? No. Nah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Dude, I love Kev going in between being like, should I be respectful right now or wild? There's uh, no in between for there's Kev. There's no... Uh, listen, I love being a wild No in between, guy. Kev. Listen, I grew up as a wild animal, basically, bro. I grew up constantly trying to survive for... 16, 17 years, bro, it's <laughs> difficult to not be a wild person not in my well head. Adjusted. It's fine. It's I'm fine. Not, it's I'm fine. Not, I feel I, you. That's why I, I'm that's surprised it. these motherfuckers. I'm just better at me. pretending, Kevin. That's it. I'm yeah. just better at pretending yeah. at work, bro. That's all it is, bro. It's hard for me to pretend, bro. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be like, yo, why are you talking? <laughs> You've been talking for 10 You seem good at a confrontation. You seem good at confrontation. I can't I love that. I'm not. I'm not. No. But if I've entered into it, like if somebody brings it on to me, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I could be okay at it. You could defensively. Yeah, yeah, but I can't be like, you pissed me off. Yeah, you, know, yeah. Like but you could get snappy and, and retorting and stuff. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. Or, or what, like, or with comments on YouTube. Well, some will be like, oh, I would, I wish you were. Although I know that I'm like, it's like a double edged sword. Like, I'll get a hate comment. I'll be like, if I was in front of you, bro. But then I know that if I was, I'd be like, oh, I didn't like that, you know. And they'd pr and they'd probably be like, oh, I'm too. sorry. Dude, you I, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I yeah. sometimes forget how wild my mouth can be. Yeah, dude, I was at Gov Ball, and bro, there you know, was sometimes. Let, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This guy, this, is, this fucking guy. Sometimes he catches me off guard because, like, at the end of the day, I catch a lot of people. I say off guard. wild shit. To nah, nah. I say wild shit, but I'm mad respectful to people. <laughs> I don't take advice from I, white women. <laughs> but she, okay, can you put that in? Yeah. But she was being white and giving me advice. I know what to say. I just wanted to tell her my rules. <laughs> Some people don't know the rules you abide crazy, by, bro. so you gotta let them know. Yeah. But I, I don't say I don't take advice from white women. I don't take comedy advice from white women. Damn. That's what I told this lady. Because mm. I don't. Now, I do take advice from white women. Like, one thing I learned is a bit I'm doing right now, so I'm sorry for doing this bit. But one thing I did learn from white women, you could ask for anything you want in this world, even if you don't deserve it, as long as you add a chuckle at the end of that sentence. Hey, my man, what are you doing, bro? Make it a question? Make it a bit of a question. No, you'd be like, hey, can I, can I, uh, can I get the job? <laughs> People just do I'm shit. sorry, we can't sit at that table. This one's a lot better. I have two of my friends coming. <laughs> yeah, can we just get some menus? <laughs> no, I can do whatever I want, it chuckle. Works. It works. Every Why would we need to teach a class? I can do whatever I want, chuckle. They do. Why would we need to teach a class on, on to immigrants or ethnic people on how to get the most out of America? So, I like, I'm going to, like, sit here now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. I'm That's sorry. So <laughs> oh, oh, but I'm, I'm gonna be real. I kind of did the. Uh, I did the. Um, but he be saying shit. I did the chuckle this weekend. You make you, you, when he says some shit. I all, all if you of diss a- him, if you diss him, if you diss Dylan on the internet, he will say some of the funniest, best writing. No, no, the no, no, be- no, no. I'm telling I'm you, bro. In person. Oh, in person. That too. Yeah. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, he's in person. He'll say some that shit. Too. He goes off. Yeah. He'll yeah. say some shit that makes me go, "Oh, I gotta be ready to fight." Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? oh, do you fight? Are you a fighter? No, talker. Either. He's good at talker. being petty, like really I, I, petty. Though, I'm a dude. good talker. No, we've said this on the show before. He says that because Kevin's there, because he knows that Kevin will back. <laughs> no, him no. Up. But by the way, I've also and said no, on the I show won't. as of recently. I make sure to do more when DC's around. I, don't, I think DC's a real, uh, he's a real uh, You're the safety fighter. bear. Yeah. No, but no. we'll get beat up together. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, I'm, I'm not going to watch you get beat up. That's, yeah. I'm not but, I, but I'm, I'm there. Yeah. I'm there. We'll uh, get beat no, up but bro, I'm about. by myself. Oh, I'm no. actually, I'm with... Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're I'm, by I'm, yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm with a girl at a, a gov ball. And um, so the the headliner for Saturday night was um, Halsey. I have no idea who that is. I know her now, but Halsey is a big artist. So I don't know who Halsey is. All so right, she's right. like, "That's that's the person I want to see." And we already went and saw my people. I go, "Is this your person? Like your favorite person?" Kind of. I go, "All right, I'm gonna." When we went to like a concert with Tom, you know, Big Tom, he's that dude that works here, big guy. He would just put his drink up and just get us through the fucking crowd, and four of us would get wherever we wanted. So I was like, being six five, yo. So yeah. I'm six three. I go, I'm a tall dude. You want me to tom us through the, the crowd? So I go, I start pushing through. So I started I just. I want to be a verb like that. What, what, what was it? Someone... No, whenever you say something really crazy, that's a calf. Yo, wait, real quick. I'm going to let you get back. Wait, wait, wait. No. Let you get back. Wait, wait. This girl that I was in Austin, I went to this rap show, and this girl just walked up to me and we just started talking. I was like, let's go to the front. Tried to talk my way through the crowd, bro. <laughs> you got humble? Bro, I got stuck like dead center. Bro. I couldn't get through the rest of this shit. I just looked at her and just started going. Bro. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny just to meet somebody. You don't even know her name. She just looks at you. She's like, are we going to keep going? Yeah. Yo. Like, hey, hey, that's all I got, Bobby. Good, right? Hey, Mom. Yeah. Hey, yo, Mom. I'm in the middle of the pack guy right. anywhere, yo. No, so yo. I'm, I'm in this crowd trying to push my way through, trying to push my way through. So I go, right, go get close to me. So I start lying. I go, hey, guys, my friends are right. I'm trying to get back to my friends. Hey, guys, I'm trying to get back to my friends. And the first, like, half layer, mad cool. But then you start slowly, the coolness starts slowly fading. Mm-hmm. People are going, they start testing you. Yeah, yeah. And then some people start now moving. They start getting started. So now... We reached a part where we're actually by like a pretty good spot, like by like a, the the gates to our right, so we can lean on that. And I've got to this point where there's a bunch of small. It's a, it's a girl show, like everyone from Halsey. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of just like petite, so you're taller than everybody. A bunch of petite women around me, mm-hmm. right? And at one point, I'm sitting. I go, "Is this good enough?" She goes, "Yeah, this is great." And then everyone around me, so dude in the back is like, "Where the fuck's your friends?" <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I start feeling the tension, and then I'm like trying to move, and then the lady's like. A lady's like, you know, I, I, I can't see the second you got in here now. I'm just looking at a, a shoulder. And then I, 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 after like three or four of those comments coming from me, I just go, guys, I tried going to my friends. They didn't let me happen. So we're here now. I was like, I'm 6'3". I don't give a fuck. I'm going to see the show. I can put her on my shoulders. She'll be 7'4". I don't care. This is not my show. I don't care. Get taller, bitch. And I literally just like said something like that. I was like, guys, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys watched, and no joke, we got 10 feet further. Really? I, just, I we watched everyone just go, that would I mean, easy. we can just move. You know, I'm like, you know, real like, so it's funny where I, I looked at her, and she, I watched her go like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. And but also, like, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes I, was like, I was like, was I being wild? I was, or was I being honest? And she kind of thought back to it. She was, you didn't say anything crazy. Honest, you were just saying, honest, I was like, guys, I can stand right here and be fine, or you can let me through. But One or two is going to happen. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. You're at a Halsey show, so it's mad white girls, I would yeah. imagine. You're like, move, move, let's get up. But when I was at the J. Cole show, I got my ass to the back with all the white, all the white people. Because you were like, and if you try to mop through those shows, they'll, they'll lock up the yeah. whole fucking middle or something like that. Yeah, also, you don't want to get beat up by a conscious yeah, like a, a conscious <laughs> I don't even want to do this. Hey, yo, no, you bro, me I do was this. bro, they played extension look at me and I was trying to mosh a little bit with that. I was like, yo, I'm gonna have some fun, bro. And this bro, it did not happen. I don't know if she noticed, bro, but 
I only made it about 10 feet and there was no front or middle I was in, bro. I just like, damn, well, this is dude, The J. Cole fan beating up is still so funny. Just like getting beat up and going, yo, but you gotta go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't know your dreams, you can shit. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't know your dreams, they can hold you down. But it was, yeah, but it was mad I'm random. I'm a stone cold stone, a bitch and yeah. beat Boston. <laughs> Did you guys see the uh, Young Gravy video Barstool posted of like some girl in the audience with her boyfriend and like Young Gravy like feeds her like candy and mm -hmm. she's like totally into Young Gravy and like, like, okay. the boyfriend's like sitting there watching like her like flirt He's with about to move it. He yeah and then like she winks at him and it's like he kisses her right after but all the comments are like dude break up with her right now also, young gravy commented on it like she's my or she's our girl now and it was like <laughs> it was it was like it, but your story reminded me of that and it, <laughs> it hit every, is, that a, is that real though that 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 she real. did that or did, you that can guy? look it up it's on barstool's instagram i feel like they're both doing it for clout her and her boyfriend um These i don't know it, it seemed pretty much like it was just like she liked young gravy her boyfriend brought her there and she was hot enough for young gravy to be like i'm gonna interact with you right right right. yeah yeah and yeah. That, i wish i could be one i wish i could be that cool to be able to just like uh -huh. Have anybody want me sexually, no yeah. matter who they're. But also, don't walk I, away from her, dude. Don't stand there and watch. You know? Yeah, well, I, I, honestly, <laughs> I had no. I, I, like, I was like putting myself in his shoes, and I was like, I don't know what you would do in that situation. You'd be like, oh, my girlfriend's a whore, dude, and then you walk away. Yeah, and, maybe that is yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, nah, I'm throwing a hissy fit. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to act like I'm Punch not. Punch up gravy, <laughs> <laughs> right? But also, yeah, you could beat up young gravy. That's one hundred percent. That's the thing. Everybody don't know your drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, bitch. Alright, you know how you don't want to. Be, get beat up by a conscious dude. You Imagine don't, you young, you a don't rapper. want to beat up by young <laughs> white rapper, rapper fans. Yo. Yeah. That oh, shit bro, is the worst. I feel like an idiot. On Sunday night, J. Cole was headlining, but at the same time, Playboy Cardi was headlining on the other side. And bro, I started noticing on the t-shirts, and it was a it was a lot of young people this festival. And this is my brother. And bro, died. I got into the I got into the subway, and bro, I don't know why. I just really I saw I was like, let's really test this to go. Who's your favorite artist tonight? And the whole train was like, Cardi! And I was like, wow. and then it got silent. I was like, I'm on the wrong train. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they all just looked at me with like meanness. And then just one girl on like a seat all over there was like, J. Cole. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Bunch of fucking 19 year olds. Cardi, Yo. Cardi. Oh my God, Cardi. It was insane, dude. Is. Playboy Cardi? Playboy oh, Cardi. I don't know that. Uh, I think, is Playboy Cardi in New York? I'm really rock. Uh, Heidi and Emma suck. Is that is that, is that Playboy Cardi? Just, Jay right, Cole's right. cool because he doesn't do like the audio track underneath. Like he just raps, memorized yeah. every yeah, he word. He does a live yeah, rap yeah, show, yeah. like he's supposed to. Be. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, does, he also brings like a live band. I don't know if you ever seen he, him live. He does. He always does. does he. Like, yeah, That's cool. Always, like, the craziest part about it that. is that rappers aren't even writing sixteens that they need to remember that they need to play the audio. Yeah, like, you can easily remember usually, your lyrics. It's like a lot of it, like because I, I got to go to Rolling Loud for work, and like a lot of it was like Rolling Loud's fun. Yeah, but like a lot of the rappers, it just feels like a karaoke, like it's like a dad at a bar. Party almost, he's yeah, like, which is think, cool. A lot of these rappers are also doing Percocets, with like fucks with your you lungs. Can't so and, and, and My perk shirt. Perk shirt. Um, yo, dude, honestly, I can't believe you. Re I, I was looking at like, yo, why do you? I didn't even know what that was until you said it today. It's this is an artist shirt that well, I perk like. Perk is set. It's spelled with a C, so that's that's like perks, like tits, I guess. But perks is P E R C. Guys, it's a bar of, of some sorts. It's yeah, well, it's, it's a white it's bar on a perks. black t shirt. Polo perks is like an artist that, oh, polo yeah. Perks. But I've been wearing it. I've been unknowingly just uh, repping Percocet. Well, Percocet. Yeah. Okay. I went to a. They were like, hey, can you come talk to this like middle school about making content? I was like, hey, kids. Do you like oh, violence? Yeah. 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 You want to see me snake <laughs> nine inch nails for each one of my eyelids? Yeah. Um, want to copy me and do Percocet just like I did? <laughs> yeah. Work for Gary Vee and get fucked up worse than my, my life, life is? is? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is doped up and dying deep. My videos are fire Sunday. away. I'm trying to get my head straight. Well, I can't figure it out. Right? No, no, we get, that's what kind a of hard out. What? What kind of girls you into? All, what all girls. girls. But I can't figure out all which ones all that girls are into I want me. to impregnate. <laughs> mm. And then Gary V said, "Sean Nothing. Medina, Nothing. Gary V's dead. He's locked in my basement. basement. I, 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 that's I, what he said." I was, Oh, he was he was at it. Gary V's not dead. Shout out to Gary V. <laughs> Shout out to Sean. <laughs> Shout out to 137 p.m. Um, this, has been a, this has been a really fun episode. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go episode. see Thank um, you, Sean for fucking dude. Thanks for having me. Being this is on, sick, bro. Sean, we're gonna have you back on. This is a really. Cool I would love podcast. to. Please come back on, dude. We always have our good friends on here, guys. I'm gonna go right now to go see Pusha T VIP. Hey. I, I, 
I you, know like you one Pusha T track? song. Oh, bro, one. he has a song with Cuddy and Kanye. Show me after. Fire, bro. Probably won't play it, but Fire. I'll be there tonight. Fire, bro. This is Dope Dope 9, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. We out. Love you guys. Peace.